Hey, it's your bro, hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can change font styles using CSS. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will help keep this channel running. Hey, uh, let's get started with fonts. To change the font family, there is a font family property. Now with fonts, sans serif fonts tend to look better on the web. There is a generic sans serif font that you can use. Now what you commonly see with font families, many people list more than one value for their font family, and there's a good reason for this. So I'm going to list two fonts. One font that I'm fond of is Consulus. So in case a web browser doesn't support this font, it will use the next best font available. So people tend to list either two or three fonts for a font family. These are sort of like contingencies in case the first one doesn't work. Now a good resource for open source fonts is fonts.google.com. Let's take a look at this. So you can search for any fonts that you may want to use. One font that I do like is press start to P. If I would like to use this font, I just need the style sheet. So I will select the style. Otherwise, you can download the family. Go to view your selected families and copy this link. Then within the head of my HTML document, I will paste that link. Let's head back to our style sheet. So I will change the header of my web page. So within my H1 header tag, I will list the font family property and set this to the name of this font. Press start to P. And you don't necessarily have to use this specific font. You can really use whatever font that you like. And if I take a look at my web page, it now is using that font. And just as a contingency, if a web browser doesn't support this font, I can list a backup. Uh, let's list Consulus for the contingency, then maybe sans serif. So you can list more than one font family. Just in case the first one doesn't work, then a web browser will use the second one. If that doesn't work, then the third one. Here's a couple other things you can do with fonts. You can set the font style to italic. You can change the font weight. There's bold, lighter. You can select a value. Let's pick bold. You can set a text decoration. This is an underline. Uh, let's pick underline. And there's various adjectives you can add to your underline, like wavy or dotted. You can also select a color for the text decoration, like maybe cyan. So you can also change the font size as well. Let's pick maybe 18 pixels for the font size. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is how to change the font of your web page using CSS. If you found this video helpful, you can help me out by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.